Hi everyone, I'm Alex Graves. I'm one of the massage therapists at Peak Health and today we're going to be going over some hip mobility exercises that you can do from the comfort of your own home. So the first one that we're going to be do or that we're going to be doing is going to be targeting the hip flexors. So this is really important because most people do have quite tight hip flexors. We're going to be showing two different exercises for this. The first one's just going to be a typical static stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into a half kneeling position. With this stretch, it's really important that we do what's called a posterior pelvic tilt. So we're going to tuck our imaginary tail between our legs. We're going to hold this position, okay? For a lot of people, just tucking our hips should cause a little bit of a stretch in that hip flexor. If not, what we're going to do is we're going to maintain that pelvic tilt as we translate our body forward, lengthening the muscle fibers on the front of the hip. Because we're doing a static stretch, we're just going to hold at that end range for 15 to 30 seconds making sure that we're taking nice calming breaths as we do so. Just for the purpose of this video, I am gonna speed it up a little bit. So after that 15 to 30 seconds, we're gonna switch and do the same thing on the other side, pelvic tilt, go forward until I feel that stretch in the hip flexor, calming breath, hold for 15 to 30 seconds. So that is your typical static stretch. What we're also gonna do is a resistance stretch. So we're adding contraction to the exercise. Hi puppy. So we're gonna set up the exact same way. We're gonna get into that half kneeling position, pelvic tilt. This time we're gonna go into that stretch. From here, we're going to contract that target leg's hip flexor, driving our knee forward, pulling ourselves backward out of the stretch. We're then gonna relax forward and repeat that two more times. So contracting that hip flexor, relaxing forward into the stretch. On the third rep, we're gonna to continue to contract that down leg's hip flexor. And we're gonna use the hamstring of the front leg to pull ourselves forward against our own resistance. Once we get to that end range, we're gonna relax back into a relaxed position, pelvic tilt, contract that hip flexor, contract the hamstring, pulling ourselves forward into that stretch. And we're gonna do three of the first one, three of the second one. So one last time here. We're then gonna repeat and do the same thing on the other side. So pelvic tilt, relax forward into that stretch. Once we feel it, we're gonna contract that hip flexor, pulling ourselves backwards. Relax forward, do that two more times. Contracting backwards. Yeah. On that third rep, we're gonna to continue to contract that hip flexor. We're gonna use that hamstring of the front leg to pull ourselves forward into that stretch. Relax back, contract, contract pulling ourselves forward. One last time here. Contract the hip flexor, contract the hamstring, making sure our pelvis stays tucked the entire time. The next exercise we're gonna be doing is for our inner thigh or groin. So once again, we have two stretches for this one. What we're gonna start off with is just your typical butterfly groin stretch. So feet are gonna to go together, knees are gonna be apart. If you do have a hard time maintaining this position, what I recommend doing, grabbing a pillow to elevate your hips. It's gonna make it so that your pelvis isn't dumping underneath as you get into this position. So just like with the hip flexor, we're gonna start off with that static stretch. So I like to apply pressure down with my elbows. You can also apply pressure down with your hands but I like to use my elbows because that way I can hold my feet, which prevents them from sliding out. Just like with the hip flexor stretch, we're gonna hold for 15 to 30 seconds at that end range, making sure that we're breathing through the entire stretch. For the resistance stretch components, uh, what we're gonna do is exactly like with the hip flexor. We're gonna start in our end range. We're then gonna contract our groin muscle, pulling our knees up towards that midline against a little bit of resistance. So in this case, we're gonna use our elbows 
to apply that resistance. So I'm pushing down into my legs as I squeeze my legs up. And we're gonna do that three times. On that third rep, we're gonna to continue to squeeze. And we're gonna overcome that resistance, pushing our knees apart with our elbows going down into that stretch. Relaxing up and repeating another two times. Trying to get further and further with each repetition. Next, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be targeting our hips. So we're gonna do this in a variety of different ways. Uh, the first one is just gonna help mobilize the deep rotators of the hip. So we're gonna start lying on our side in our best George Costanza pose. We're gonna be targeting the hip that's on top. So I want you to bring your hip so that it's at 90 degrees and your knee so that's at 90 degrees. From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to keep our pelvis stable, our knee in contact with the ground, and we're gonna rotate our ankle to the ceiling as high as we can and back down. So trying to maintain the 90 degree at the knee the entire time. We're gonna do this 10 times After we've done that 10 times, we're now going to push the heel into the ground and without rocking backwards, we're going to lift the knee to the ceiling. So trying to get that knee up as high as we can. Good. We're going to repeat on the other side. So hip out in front, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, lifting the ankle to the ceiling 10 times. If you wanna make this more challenging, you can try to roll almost all the way flat, which is going to make it so that we're putting more stress through the hip. After 10, we're relaxing the heel on the ground lifting the knee to the ceiling. If you're on your stomach or more onto your stomach than you were before, this is gonna be more challenging. Really focus on using your glute to lift your knee. Good. Once it's warm, we can now go into your typical pigeon pose which if you've done yoga, you should be familiar with. Target leg is gonna be coming out in front. We're gonna have a bend in the knee. Ideally, we're getting it to about 90 degrees. That's gonna provide the most torque through that hip joint. But depending on if you feel discomfort in your knee, you can lessen the angle to take some pressure out of the knee. From here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trying to keep our back nice and flat as we drop our chest towards the ground. For that static stretch, we're just gonna hold for 15 to 30 seconds. Continuing to breathe through the entire length of the stretch. We're now gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So getting into that pigeon pose, trying to get it as close to 90 degrees at the knee as we can. Keeping our back flat, we're then gonna drop our chest to the floor. Holding for 15 to 30 seconds, trying to relax deeper into the stretch. With stretching, you don't wanna go into the painful range. You should feel therapeutic discomfort, but it shouldn't be uncomfortable. So to turn this into a resistant stretch, what we're gonna do is we're going to think about pushing our hip into the floor as we're in that stretch. So we're gonna get back into that pigeon pose. We're gonna go into that stretch. We're now gonna push our leg into the floor, pushing ourselves up using our glute and relaxing back down. Pushing into the floor, 
relaxing back down, pushing into the floor, continuing to push into the floor and slowly letting yourself sink into that stretch. Once you hit that end range, coming out of it, pushing into the floor, slowly letting yourself sink into that stretch. And we're gonna do that one more time. Push into the floor and slowly let yourself sink. Good, same thing on the other side. So going into that stretch, contracting our glute, pushing our leg into the floor, coming out of it, relaxing back into that stretch, contracting, pushing up, relax into that stretch, contracting our glutes one last time. Now we're gonna continue to contract our glutes as we slowly let ourselves sink into that stretch. Coming back up, pushing into the floor, slowly letting ourselves sink into that stretch again against our resistance. And one last time here, push. As we slowly relax into that stretch while continuing to push. What we're gonna finish off with now that our hips are nice and warm is a 90-90 stretch. So 90-90 stretch. We're gonna get 90 degrees at the front hip, 90 degrees at the front knee, 90 degrees at the back hip, 90 degrees at the back knee. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here, try and maintain a nice upright pressure. I'm pushing actively my leg towards the ground and I'm actively pushing my knee towards the ground and my back leg. So we're gonna hold this once again for 15 to 30 seconds. Then we're gonna switch and do the same thing on the other side. Actively pushing both knees into the ground as I do so.